Hey, oh tweakers, we're gonna talk some Disa caves. So with this update that we just got uh, on March 30th, which was yesterday for me in the past for whenever you're watching this video sometime in the future. And uh, it's hard. Uh, Disa caves is hard again. Uh, they did sell us the solution in Rosaris, but otherwise, yeah, yeah, it's tough. So in this video, we're going to go over the changes to Disa Caves, and we're going to go over some footage of some teams that I found that can do it on auto. Caveat, all the stuff I'm going to show you requires Rosaris, but um, you don't need her very highly developed to get at this. So first of all, um, or to beat this. So first of all, let's just go over what they changed. They basically added three more levels. They're calling it X1, X2, and X3. You bet your butt that uh, we're going to get the exact same thing for Sincero and Terradome. And you know what? Bring it on. Bring it on. Yes, please. Give it to me today, tomorrow. It should have happened two months ago. <laughs> because um, even on my baby account, uh, which is only 85 days old, I can um, auto stages 15 of this on a free to play 85 year old or 85 day old account that's not even three months and uh, i'm beating all of the content that was at launch on a baby account now decent caves so what they changed is you you you've all done these caves you know you hit the a certain break point on the boss and the boss throws up a shield all you got to do is put in a bunch of abilities in the shield and it goes away he topples it you kill it now they changed it though so now uh, the shield is enhanced and only basic attacks or skills that trigger basic attacks can break the shield. Uh, right? And then they, uh, obviously, yes, they added bosses. Okay, so. Stage 1, and this is the funny part. Uh, this is a free-to-play account that I created, but I, I created it three weeks after um, my main account. But I created it on the exact same server so that I could reference my main account while recording footage on my in my office. So I don't have an Emma. I don't even have a single copy of an Emma. Uh, and this account is let's just for just let's just show you. Let's just show you the account. He, it's it's 9.3 million. I have Immortal Daniel, Immortal Ampu, Immortal Sor Valley. Uh, it's like, but I don't have Good Hunters. Because the game gives you good hunters in the beginning, specifically Emma. Uh, so let's go back here. Yeah. Okay. So, and I haven't beat this yet. I was I was messing around with it a little bit. Um, you cannot do this. This was a team I was using to do X or level stage 15 before. But watch what happens. We'll just run it through once, and then you can see the the pain that's going to cause. So, this is all the same, right? I got Masrani up here tanking. But as you see, I'm not doing a whole lot of damage because as well, one thing that I didn't say is that your energy regeneration is severely, severely neutered. So, none of these characters were really getting up to their ultimates in order to do something. Uh, they can do it. I did hit the breakpoint, but you see Masrani's almost dead. Um... But, and then they all get their ultimates. And just, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die a horrible, horrible death. As you see, the shield is not moving. It's not moving. It moved once. Yes, squash that last year. Once. Okay. So now let's try some hunters. Let's bring in some hunters. Okay, hunters. Right, because this, this seems like this has been tailor-made for hunters. Do I have a Thorn of Glory? I do, which gives Hunters attack speed. Cool, we can use that. Uh, where's the right commander? Not that one, we want that one. I only got one on this account, but he'll do. All right, now Hunters. So, ideally you want Botmart because they did kind of tweak his kit so that his ultimate says that all of his uh, bolts fired in his ultimate uh, trigger basic attack effects. Okay, as you see, my hunters now are extremely limited, extremely limited. Now, you, my baby account, my baby baby, that 85 year old day account, used this exact same quality Rosaris. So level 
219. I don't even think this one has talents or gear because I don't have the soul potions. Uh, but we'll just throw her in there like this. And then, obviously, a Xena might be nice. But we're going to put in Xander because I got to work with what I got, right? So let's see what happens. I got a bad feeling about this, Bob. As you see, Taylor does all the damage in this fight. Let's get rid of that. So Rosaris, big old shield. She's not going to die. And she is going to give the benefit uh, of to hunters. And... And, uh, and, and, and I'm dead. Okay. So, but as you see, I got it down to six. So this account is stuck. I really, really do need an Emma and then an Azena if I want to get two and three down. I don't even think I got a Prygor. So, now let's go to the footage. So that's just to, uh, to show you that, yes, this is really, really hard. And yes, hunters are required. And uh, Rosaris isn't required, but uh, she makes things a whole lot easier. So now this footage right here was recorded on my main account. Uh, this is uh, Disa X2. Uh, X1, or X Extra 1. Just put in Emma, Azina, Botmart, Taylor, and you can do it on auto. It's not hard. Uh, 2 and 3 is where the rubber meets the road. Uh, let me turn on my head. There we go. Just so you can see me commentating. So here we go. As you see, beat it really, really quick. So this is the team, uh, or this is a team that you can use for X2. So what happens in X2 is now we have his kid. His kid comes with him. Uh, it's uh, take your child to work day. Uh, this guy just is a really, really poor father. So he gets a shield. He gets a big shield, whatever it is, 24. But the little guy starts out with 17, and this is on X2. Uh, but the, the premise holds the same. You still have to use basic attacks to beat him. Now, you want to put your Emma in a lane, right? Put her in one lane, and then put Botmark in another lane, because both of these have lots of uh, multi-hit damaging abilities on their ultimate. Uh, I think Emma's a little bit better than Botmark. Uh, Xena is an attack speed boost character, so she's going to boost. You want her to boost your Rosaris. In my, I found that I always liked to boost Rosaris because she does basics, like an AoE basic attack, which makes it so that she can double dip on these bosses and make this that much easier. Um, I'm running Thorn of Glory as again because it supplies the speed buff to hunters that uh, I do believe it's when they tap uh, a character so many times or use a basic so many times. Uh, Emma is in a gluttony set with uh, Hero. Uh, Rosaris is in a gluttony set and Zephyr. Azina is in gluttony and Hero. And then Botmark is in his normal uh, Sun Signet, two, two Sun Signet, one Overload, right? Just going for a really high crit rate, high crit damage. So let's watch this fight play out. Don't blink. So no sound on that one because this is recorded footage. And uh, see, no healers needed because once you get them toppled, they're done. Now, I did not mention Nord. <clears throat> if you have a Nord, he's really, really helpful here because he does a lot of damage. I don't think I've seen somebody use Masrani up front. He can survive, I think. Don't quote me on that one. But maybe Leo would be better because you really need a damage dealer to dish out the damage while they're toppled. Because as you see, no healer, um, I can't take another pounding for these guys again. So once they're toppled, I don't want them getting back up. As you see, 17, 15. Uh, but uh, I think we, yeah, we got the baby and then got his daddy down pretty much simultaneously. I am not even focusing on the healing ad in this one. You don't have to. Uh, you just look at the damage, go, boom, boom, boom. They're right back into the shield phase but they're still not done this topple phase. Now they're getting back up. Now we gotta do it one more time. Sorry, boys. You picked the wrong fight. Look at that, got daddy down first. I think that's be, yeah. And you are donezo. Bye-bye. Okay. So that is Disa Caves X2. I was gonna say 20, I don't know why. I think it's because I think of exclusive weapon now I'm going to pull up um, the, the first team that I found 
that beat it. This isn't going to be the optimal team, but this is a team. Okay. So. X3. Now it's bring your spouse to work. So, um, yeah. Kid got left at home. Now it's an uh, old, cranky, crabby, married couple coming to work. And they find us touching their stuff. So in this comp, I again have Emma and Azina. Now, Azina is buffing Emma. So this one's going to be on manual. So if you don't have, uh, you know what, uh, bot mark, you know, bot mark works here too. I'm just going to play this out. I'm just going to, so you can watch it juggle, but... There are some comps out there that use res, but this was a real, this was fun to do, but it was a juggling act. Um, and I think I was playing uh, res and Nord on manual. So what I was doing is, I don't know what I was doing with Nord. Nord's really just there to do damage during topple. So what I did is you saw with res, as soon as Rosaris did her ultimate, I popped res back over to Rosaris uh, to do more basics, and now in the topple phase, I'm feeding Res into Nord just to do as much damage as possible. Again, this was the first team that I found to do it. This is not the optimal team. This is doing it the hard way. This is the hard way. But it was kind of fun. It was kind of fun to do. As you see, feed it back to Rosaris, and then Rosaris is going to do her ultimate again, and she's going to go pew 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 to the shields. Now, you kind of since I don't have bot mark, I kind of had to feed it back to Rosaris because he saw that this one, this one up top here had like 12 when this one had two. And she had to go pew, 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 more, more. Uh, obviously, I'm lacking one hunter in order to get this down. Now, I don't know why I keep positioning. I think I'm trying to kill the ad with Nord, but really you can still just bypass, just ignore the ad. It, it doesn't do anything. Uh, these things are dead before they can get back up. So there's that one. There's one team. But keep in mind that is not the optimal team. But it was a team that's more fun. But again, I've done, I've, I've done it. I've had my fun. Now I just want to hit the button, click auto, and watch stuff die. So here's the last footage. Uh, this is X3 again. But now this is a full auto team. So uh, wrong window there, Dialer. Learn to stream. Okay, so... Again, bring your supposed to work day. Um, same things, you know, shields are going to pop up. You got to tap them with basics. Now we're running full hunters. Now we're moving. Now we're working with fire. Okay, so what makes this team go is so instead of res <clears throat> feeding Rosaris so that you could get off more basics, now I bring in bot mark in. You're going to have bot mark. Your, your sister's going to have bot mark. You're going to give a bot mark toy to your three year old for Christmas. Everyone's got one, right? Everyone's got an Emma. So everyone should have these. Now, uh, you don't need a high-level Rosaris. This Rosaris is legendary. She's legendary. All you really need her here for is to live. Uh, you need to get a lot of attack speed on her so that she can pump the basics, right? That's why she's there. She's an AoE basic machine, which is what you need to take down these shields. Um, Emma and Botmark and Nord... More so just Emma and Nord are going to supply the damage during topple phase to do the damage part. Uh, the only reason why Rosaris is here is to do her AoE basics. And Prygor works here nice. And you don't need an immortal Prygor either. You just got to make sure that you have her developed enough so that she's going to pass the attack speed bonus from her talent over to Rosaris. I don't know what level that is. Um, we can actually... Um, go look. Well, let's actually let's do that right now, so you know. I don't want to leave you without information, because I do have a Prygor on this account. Uh, it's not a good one, uh, but there we go. So if we look at her talents, actually, let's look at her skills. This is probably a better way to do this. I think it's this one. No, it's this one. Okay. So this one is this talent. Uh, provides an equal amount of attack speed, which is 250 for this for this one. Uh, to an ally in the same row for 8 seconds. Okay. So that is right there. So you only need her yellow 2. But make her a little bit higher so that she can uh, uh, get the basics off. Okay. Alright. So <clears throat> Prygor works nice. 
Um, she does do uh, basics as well. She is helping on this, but her main thing is that she is the uh, booster to Rosaris. So here we go. Let it roll. So again, pew, pew, pew. Just surviving, as you see. Bot Mark, he's squishy. Uh, but all he's got to do is survive to this first shield phase, and then the hunters do the rest. So I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I can't pause that. So right now, right now, you see this ye yellow, like, sheen that's coming off of Prygor, and it's also coming off of Rosaris. That's the attack speed bonus. So it's pretty much up this whole shield phase. I do believe it was up before the shield phase even started. Let's see. Yes. It, uh, yes, it was. Let's go back a little bit more. Yes, yeah, see, there it is. So it's it's already up already. And keep you can kind of watch to see when it shuts down. But now we're entering pew, pew, pew phase. So I do believe uh, Prygord, don't quote me, does some AoE basics as well. As you see, boom, they're down, right? And they still have the attack speed bonus going. They still have that gold sheen. It really doesn't, she just seems to keep it up pretty much the whole fight. As I'm watching it, it's not going away. You pretty, there's almost maximum uptime on that uh, big old attack speed bonus, uh, which uh, she's basically doing what Rez did, uh, just speeding her up and down, down it goes. Again, these uh, heal adds are going to stack up and you are going to see, actually, I think this team, it doesn't matter. I just blow through it with Nord up there. Look at how much damage Nord's doing. Uh, he's just keeping them in perpetual topple. Like, they're not even get turned around to put a shield back up, and they're dead. So, with, with that in mind, to finish this off, I wonder, I wonder, wonder if... Actually, you know what? I don't have my Prygor. I was like, I wonder if I can put my Prygor in there. But she's not even yellow, too. So, no, no go. No go. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is... Disa Caves, that is the new and improved Disa Caves. I hope you enjoyed this guide. And uh, if you did, oh, put spouse down in the comments so I'll know you made it to the end because this is the uh, bring your spouse to uh, work game mode now. Or at least that's what I'm going to call it uh, until I'm done making this video. So, till next time, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers, peace, later, bye bye.